future Hurricane seventh graders. I'm Miss Dalton, one of the assistant principals. And I'm Jerry Wimack, one of the school counselors here. And we are going to give you an overview of what life as a Hurricane seventh grader looks like here at King Creek. We're going to show you some things about seventh grade, options you have for electives, and some people you need to meet. Hi, it's Miss Dalton again. First up on the people that you need to know is the administrative team. You have your principal, Miss Mason, myself, one of the assistant principals, and the other assistant principal, Mr. Washell. Hi, this is Miss Wimack again. And as you can see on this slide, it's a picture of me. And then there's my awesome coworker, Mr. Kirby. I will primarily work with seventh grade this year and half a six, and you'll see Mr. Kirby in and around there and eighth grade. Next up is our school resource officer, Officer Anders. He is here every day to help keep us safe. And let's take a look at our seventh grade teachers now. First, our math teachers, we have Miss Hannah and Mr. Fulkerson. Next up, you have your English language arts teachers, or ELA, Miss Warden and Mr. Chambers. For science, you have Miss Minor and Miss King. And in our social studies department, we have Ms. Sosby and Mr. Prickett. Now let's take a look at what your schedule is going to look like in seventh grade. Every one of you will have math, ELA, science, social studies, and those will be all year courses. And now the fun stuff. You get to take four electives in seventh grade, two each semester. Health and PE is one of those, so you get three choices as to what else you would want to take. If you are interested in band or year-long chorus, those count as two of your electives. And now let's go to our elective teachers to tell you about some of your options. Hello, future Hurricanes. I am Kim Mason, principal of King Creek Middle School. Check out some of the amazing classes we offer that will prepare you for your future. I am looking forward to meeting you and watching you grow as a hurricane. We'd like to welcome the incoming seventh graders from Coombs. I'm Coach Clark, this is Coach Anderson. Hi guys, we're looking forward to having y'all here. Uh, we do a lot of fun games. We do everything from bowling to hockey, to badminton, to volleyball. We do four square tournaments, basketball tournaments. Um, we have a health curriculum to teach you how to get healthy, stay healthy, be healthy. Uh, and we are looking forward to seeing you soon. Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Smith and I teach at Cane Creek Middle School. And for seventh grade, I teach Project Lead the Way, which is a really unique national curriculum that Buncombe County Schools offers. And it is um, a course called Innovators and Makers. And with that course, we use a piece of hardware called a microbit. And I teach you how to program that micro bit. And you also get to design things. So you also are using your artistic abilities. And it's a really, it's a lot of fun. And it's a lot of teamwork. So we do a lot of team projects. So if you like to create and work on teams, you definitely want to take my class. I look forward to meeting you. And I teach seventh grade foods and nutrition. Please join my class to have fun and exciting times learning how to prepare food, learning how to cook by yourself, learning about nutrients and vitamins and minerals and all that good stuff. The best thing about my class is we have projects, we eat, and we have no homework. Buenos dias, clase. So sixth graders, if you really enjoyed exploratory Spanish with me, please take exploratory Spanish two in seventh grade. We will work on reading, writing, and speaking the Spanish language. Thank you, goodbye. <laughs> Hey guys from Coombs Intermediate, this is Mr. Dodds and I'm the band director over at Cane Creek Middle School and I am uh, talking to you guys because I want you to sign up for band here at Cane Creek. If you are already in the band over at Coombs Intermediate, um, you can sign up for band in 7th grade here at um, Cane Creek Middle School and um, we have a great band program over here. We like to go places, we like to do things. We have been to Disney World. Um, and we have been to New York City. We've been, we played on the, the Carnegie Hall stage in New York City. When COVID hit last spring, we were scheduled to play in Chicago. Uh, we like to go places, do things, and if you wanna be a part of a group that does that, come join us. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun, and I look forward to meeting all of you. Do you consider yourself the glamorous type? Or maybe you are the type that just likes to clown around. 
or maybe you're a little artistic and love the arts or you're into mystery and adventure maybe you just like a good story whatever your interest whatever your talent there could be a place for you in creative dramatics in creative dramatics we create theater from the beginning stages of playwriting through the ending bows. Creative Dramatics develops lifetime skills such as poise, voice production, creative thinking, and teamwork. In Creative Dramatics, we work to succeed, but we have fun doing it. Hi, I'm Miss Booth. I play the cello and I teach orchestra here at King Creek Middle School. I would love for you to join me in my class and I'm going to give you a couple reasons why I think you should join orchestra. Number one is it's just a great way to make friends. The people that I met in orchestra in middle school, they're still my friends today. Another reason is that music makes you smarter. It's going to help you with math and science and reading and it's just really good for your brain. And another reason is that music is a great way to express yourself and be creative. So I hope you'll join us. Hello, I'm Mr. Poss Michelle. I'm the art teacher here at Cane Creek. Um, there are three reasons why I'd like you to take my art class. The first one is art fosters a growth mindset. I believe everyone's an artist and you come into my classroom, try different things and improve in your art making skills. The second reason why I'd like you to take my class is um, Art helps you know yourself, and if you know yourself, you can set your own goals, and you can appreciate others' perspectives and other, other cultures. Um, and the third one is we have fun taking art seriously, okay? So in my class, we work with a variety of me mediums. We'll do animation, ceramics, painting, um, puppetry, and I keep it interesting and fun. Hey guys, um, my name is Ms. Strickler and I'm the chorus teacher at Cane Creek and I'm here just to talk to you about some of the great things you have to look forward to in chorus next year. So first of all, I mean one of the best things, if you love music and you love games, you'll have a great time. If you already love your music class, then we play games all the time and quite honestly, it's pretty easy. You rarely, rarely have homework. Um, number two, a lot of people really like this one. If you're involved in the year-long advanced classes, we, we do a lot of traveling. So some people get to travel individually, like they audition for outside choirs in places like Greensboro or um, even national choirs in Alabama or New York City, random places. It just depends on the choir that you audition for. And we've even traveled as a group to Disney World or New York City or even places like Charlotte to just to go to um, Carowinds and compete and enjoy the amusement park. So that's a big perk. But really the best thing is that you get to hang out with your friends. So you're going to have friends that take chorus just like you do. And you're going to think, oh my gosh, I actually get to see you today because some of those people you won't have classes with the rest of the day. So you're going to get to chorus and think, yes, this is the best ever because I get to see my BFF. Yes, I just said BFF. Don't judge me. Um, and it's a really great time because they're like part of your family and you meet new people that are like new family to you in chorus class. So uh, I can't wait for you to join us next year at Cane Creek. All right, now that you've seen your elective choices, please make sure that you complete your Google form that is gonna serve as your registration card. You will get to choose three elective options and it is very important that you also choose your alternates just in case classes are full and you don't get your top choices. If you do not complete your registration card, we will pick your classes for you. If you have any questions about electives or what life in seventh grade is going to look like, or you just want to chat, feel free to email us. Our emails are right there. And we look forward to welcoming you as a hurricane next year. See you soon.